Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Today's video is about what exercise I do per day. And I have a lot of people ask me that question and I thought it would be a good opportunity to do a video on that. And a lot of people say to me, oh my God, you know, oh, you do so much exercise. That's why you're slim. You do like a marathon every day. And I'm like, no, that's a big, big misconception. I don't do a marathon every day at all. Every actually, second day. No, I've actually never, ever done a marathon. So the amount of exercise I do is a very reasonable amount and anyone can do it out there. So four hours a day? No, if not four hours a day, like... Every single day you train? Not every single day. Sometimes I have like three days off in a week, easily. Okay. You know, I'll train... Generally, I train every second day. It seems to average out at about every second day. Sometimes two days in a row, but not that often. And cycling is what I do probably about two, three times a week for about 30 minutes to an hour and moderate intensity sometimes i go a little bit harder during the session for about god five ten minutes and the rest of the session is just a pretty easy pace but you can talk the whole time you're running can't yeah you? i can talk the whole time like sometimes i'll be just rolling down the hill for 10 minutes yeah and running i'll put some running in there for like about two times a week generally at the moment it changes quite often from month to month but at the moment i'm doing about two sessions per week of roughly 15 to 30 minutes mm -hmm. and that's not high high intensity except for once a week i'll do a running race of about 5ks and i'll really push it for 20 once minutes. a week once a week that's oh. it oh and yeah year, once every couple of weeks but this year how many have you done you've done three 5k races this year and we're almost halfway in the year yeah sometimes yeah maybe that's giving it a bit too much yeah once a week once every couple of months <laughs> once a month oh no once every two months this year been... yeah so what what Julian Wright is trying to emphasize is I don't do a lot of intensity you know that often so I do do some though and I really recommend doing like HGH sessions like human growth hormone sessions where you do pump it a bit mm -hmm. but you don't have to go crazy you don't have to do a lot of it just be consistent you have to get a little bit of sweat on your brow. Look at this. Freely's passing the cycles here effortlessly. Yeah, go, go. A woman passing a man. This is why I, we don't ride fixed gear bikes. Fixed gear bikes make you slow on the road. Single speed fixie. They're okay, just, you know, but the, you can't really go fast in them. You can't go fast in them. So what would, why are you so slim and trim and look fan, fucking hot and fantastic? Is it... I don't understand. What is it? Well, diet diet is so important to staying slim. Dieting or diet? Diet. The diet. The, what you eat, what you put in your gullet okay. is definitely the most important thing. I would say it's about 80% of the challenge of getting slim is eating well and exercise being the other 20%. You know, just doing like a bit of activity during the day, not even calling it exercise, just doing a bit here and there and running with your dogs and using your bike as transport. That's all you really need to do. But eating well, eating clean, high carb, low fat, raw vegan or vegan is where it's at. Mm -hmm. What about salt? You must eat a lot of salt. No, keep the keep the sodium low. We don't want those puffy ankles. Puffy ankles? The cankles. How does salt cause <laughs> puffy ankles? We don't want the cankles. Well, what, what it does is like it retains fluid in your body. Like oh, your body yeah. has to retain fluid to dilute that pollution of that excess sodium in your body. Is that, so, why, is that why models and that cut out salt a few weeks before a photo absolutely. shoot? Absolutely. And they take diuretics and stuff? And body sculptors, bodybuilders, okay. they all do it. They don't want to look puffy. They want to look lean. Mm, interesting. And yeah, I don't know why more people don't take notice of that because it's so important. I think because people just, just, they're so starved of carbohydrate. They just want to eat any sort of shit. And most processed food today in society is packed full of salt. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Absolutely. I, I mean, it's taken me a couple of years to get this routine down pat, like, and to really, you know, just to realize that I don't have to kill myself exercising all the time like I used to. Mm. I used to do some crazy amounts of exercise every day, twice a day generally, and I was way like had way more weight on me yeah, than I do you. now. Remember that? Remember the story you said where you used to run so hard that your shins were sore and you put frozen peas in them? <laughs> yeah, I'd have to elevate them at the end of the run. <laughs> and put frozen peas on them and my boyfriend at the time was just like you're just crazy even though he was taking steroids yeah <laughs> well you did a bit of clenbuterol and stimulants didn't you yeah to I, lose weight. I took yeah i took my fair share of weight loss drugs and um what, duramine, duramine duramine that's a very very popular one in the dieting scene and that just makes you crazy were you as lean as you are now no so you're leaner eating clean and eating as many calories as i want than when you're on drugs absolutely that's pretty crazy absolutely yeah that's 
I've been just hammering the calories the last six years and guess what? I'm getting leaner and leaner and Healthier, having more and fitter. more energy, healthier. It's all go, go, go. It's all like just really positive. You know what would be really fun is if we could line up all the haters, put them on bikes and then just watch freely, just ride up a mountain away from them. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Well, the proof's in the banana But then again, there, I do know a few girls... Freely, who could kick your ass on the bike, and they're quite, they're quite chunky. They're quite fat, literally. They are fat, yeah, because they're eating so much whey protein and. How many of these girls? Come on, where are they? What the National Road Series watch? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. You know, those girls are fit. Are they? I, they look pretty lean too. Remember that girl in the front in the specialized bike? Oh, She's okay. fat as you like. Look at how fat she is. Yeah, well. But they're just eating so much shit. They're training so much. They're getting so hungry, and their coaches are saying, "Oh, don't eat too much steamed potatoes." No, just. Eat like protein. It's just they're just getting lied to basically by coaches who don't know better or don't want to know better. Yeah. And they just get so fat and all those eating disorders get caught out. And I know girls. Well, it's you know. awful because I used to be there as well, and these poor girls think that they have to starve, starve themselves, yeah, to get to this this size and peak performance and everything. But geez, it's just so misguided. And I, yeah. I'm just so glad I'm out of that routine, and I now I can show others. It's very liberating. Yeah, it is very really liberating. liberating. I love nothing more than seeing people, you know, girls get to where they want to be, eating all they want to and not being crazy and no drugs. feeling deprived. Yeah, no drugs. No, no caffeine. Stimulants. No starving for three months and no. then binging out for another three months. No way. I love eating. I just want to... Feasting. S- feasting every meal. But we're talking about cycling here. We're talking about <laughs> running. So, like, just be consistent. It's all about being consistent and keeping focus, being patient and realizing that you're not going to lose all the way. You're not going to get super fit in two weeks. It's going to take a little bit longer. <laughs> takes a while. It takes a few years. All the champion athletes, all those people you admire with their physique, they've been doing it for longer than a few years, man. It takes a long time. Be patient. And knowing that fact, please start today. So totally be patient, people. This isn't like a fad diet. This isn't a just a lifestyle i mean a diet for the summer or an exercise routine for the summer you have to be consistent it takes time and yeah i'm here if you want to ask questions in the comments below and i'll try to get to your questions and i will see you tomorrow so don't forget to go fruit or root yourself and we'll see you soon ciao i'm gonna be rooting myself tonight (laughs) see what i gotta go to bed with